Welcome back to the third and final Countdown Woodwork Special. Today I'll be competing for the infamous Countdown Teapot Trophy. I'm feeling pretty confident, so let's make a teapot. Here we are in Cut 2D Desktop looking at the job setup. My material is 305mm wide, 210mm high and is 45mm thick. My teapot in vector form has been split into layers to keep things tidy and make creating toolpaths a little bit easier. Start the clock! Let's take a look at some toolpaths. Layer 1, I'm using a 4mm spiral upcut bit, an offset toolpath and a total depth of cut of 5mm. Layer 2 is cut using exactly the same settings, apart from this time we're hoping to achieve a depth of cut of 10mm. For layer 3 the settings are still the same and we're going for a total depth of cut of 15mm. Start the clock! For the clock face we'll be using a 1mm end mill to a depth of 2mm. The top detail was cut using the same settings but it produced much more exciting video footage. The text was the last of the 1mm operations and I could watch that all day. Start the clock! One hundred times six equals six hundred. Five times seven equals thirty five. Plus six hundred gives us six hundred and thirty five, or six point three five millimeters, which is a quarter inch. For the profile cut, I'll be using a quarter inch end mill with a depth of cut of forty five millimeters, adding tabs. These letters and numbers were made out of 3mm plywood and paint. For a true authentic look, this teapot would need to be painted too. However, this teapot was made of oak and the last time I checked, painting oak is against the law. So we have a conundrum.
That was fun. It's not every day you win one of these. I can only hope that my name will go down in history with the other countdown legends such as Sean Locke and Roisin Connerty. My heroes. Anyway, I'll see you next time.